Hello everyone, thank you for being here. Before I begin, let me introduce myself briefly. I am Muhammad Abu Gaisar Mahim and I am from Weight Processing Engineering Department. Today I am going to talk about Syrians. Well, I am going to begin my presentations by highlighting this slide. These are the topics of my presentation. They are brief outline of Syrian production process, limitation, advantages, yarn properties, and uses of Syrian. So, first topic topics of my presentations is brief outline of Syrian. Um, Syrians are characterized by high yarn strength, low hairiness, a smooth yarn surface, and a round yarn cross sections. These characteristics later give the fabrics shine and grip, which is why Syrians are often processed into fine shirt fabrics and light garden fabrics. Syrians are superior in yarn characteristics, have an edge over the normal yarn of equivalent count spun from both a single roving fit and double roving fit. Traditionally, two fold yarns have been used for weaving because they are stronger, smoother, and more resistant to abrasions during weaving. It also helps in either reducing the size percentage or even eliminates the very process. Spinners have long demanded spinning and doubling in one single operation. The siro spinning process offers the solution when two rovings are laid separately through the drafting systems and running parallel to each other are combined once they have passed the nip points of the front top and front bottom roller to fold like weaveable yarn, siro yarn is the result. So this is all about the introductions of siro yarns and some wonderful characteristics such as uh, this gives special shine or grip is smoother more smoother surface is more more smooth smoother and um, these yarns have high strength low hairiness and some of the uh, wonderful wonderful characteristics of side yarns <coughs> so this slide is all about this next a comparison between compact and side yarns and also comparison between conventional ring span yarn and side yarn here we can see the images of uh, which differentiate compact yarns and siro yarns and also there is another images which is conventional ring span yarns and siro span yarns here we can see the differences next is the manufacturing process or the production process of siro yarn Siro yarn is manufactured by a method called, called siro spinnings or eli twist spinnings. In this, the yarn is made into two plies on the ring spinning machines. Siro span can be seen as a pseudo two fold yarn in which the two components are untwisted strands rather than twisted single yarns. The CSIRO, the full abbreviations, is Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organizations in Australia came up with siro yarns, therefore, it is called siro spinning. So uh, this slide is all about the production process and here we start the production process. The siro yarn techniques applied a number of siro self twist findings to the conventional rain sp rain, uh, ring spinning technology of the Orsay system. The siro spinning system incorporated spinnings and doubling into a single operations. In this method, two rovings are led concurrently through the drafting machines separated by two specially designed condensers and drawn independently. Here we see uh, two groving hair and a guide of yarn guide and a guide holder which hold the yarn guide, back drafting roller and front drafting roller. Also there is a, here we can see the guide and separators which separate the yarns and there is aprons and lastly there is a result of the siro yarns. <coughs> Next, using a ring and traveler, there is a ring and traveler. Um, the twist is introduced as with a typical single lens, the drafted roving strands at the exit of the drafting mechanisms, which some twist formed in the individual strands up to the nip points, are united to create a two-fold like lens. Numerous experts have found that the hairiness of Syrian fabrics has been drastically decreased. Here we can see the image of two-folded Syrians. Uh, which is hold by a holder 
and, and, and there is a traveler there is a ring and there is a traveler next slide describes the technical process and yarn pod diagrams of sideways spinnings uh, the roving is fed into a ring frame with uh, separators to ensure that each roving is drafted separately to the two strands that come out of the drafting mechanism twist together to form a single yarn that is called the siroyan the following are the features of the siroy spinning technique the ring spinning frame is readily adjustable the structure of siroyan is comparable to that of plied yarn and the yarn has greater abrasion resistance and is less hairy this is so this is all about the technical process and yarn pod diagrams of siroyans here in the image we can see there is a yarn guide and the yarn in yarn is passing the lower side of the yarn guides and there is a apron draft through which yarn, in, yarn is passing there is a front roller, spindles and traveler <coughs> next the principal process of siro spinnings the creel is modified to accommodate an additional roving depending on the kind of spinning machines the spindle space and roving building will vary on the same bobbin the two twistless roving must be fed at distinct face locations single groove yarn guides are replaced by double groove yarn guides with reasonable group spacings um, in the image we can see front roller to roving, to roving uh, there is a true rovings and a spindle here on wool spinning machines with a slip draft the group width of the middle leather roller rises from 18 mm to 24 mm a breakout device sometimes known as a BOD is put in the space between the front roller and the yarn guide the breakout mechanisms may mechanically break another strand if one of the strands in the yarn is broken preventing the manufacturing of a single yarn the equipment used to break out should have a high level of sensitivity and outstanding stability so this is the production process of siro yarn and the next slide uh, limitations of siro yarn though siro yarn has some wonderful characteristics but it is it is uh, it has also some limitations accident spinning performance does not ensure good weaving performance which is the fundamental downside of siro spinnings in siro yarn manufacturing it cannot be said that if the spinning performance of the single yarn is excellent the weaving performance of the two folded yarn will also be satisfactory in addition it does not permit the use of a less expensive raw material such as coarser fiber some factories have made the siro yarns with just 60 fibers in the cross sections by using a longer coarser fiber the performance in spinning was satisfactory however the performance in weaving was not acceptable so uh, this describes that uh, only the spinning performance does, does not always ensure good weaving performance this means only the wonderful spinning performance does not always ensure good weaving performance this is uh, this is also the fundamental downside of siro spinning there are there are some limitations here also and this can be we can uh, we cannot use cheap raw materials in uh, cheap raw materials in the spinning process of siro spin uh, of siro yarn so uh, less expensive raw materials is not allowed to spin such type of yarn uh, such as coarser fibers is not applicable for the for the productions of siro yarn so this is the limitations of siro yarn when making siro yarn if front zone condensers are not applied significant fiber loss up to 5% might occur using front zone condenser this can be brought down to half a percent 0.5 percent siro yarns exhibit more thin places on the US star evenness testings which is likely due to the occasional loss of fiber so uh, this is due to the occasional loss of fiber sirens exhibits some uh, thin places in the US star uh, evenness testing when tested next slide advantages of sirens sirens have some several uh, has several characteristics uh, 
several wonderful characteristics such as uh, yarn strength low hairiness and smooth yarn surface so due to this characteristic siro yarns are used in fine short fabrics and light garden fabrics also siro yarns are used in uh, some denim sectors in next slides uh, we can see there is described some the properties of siro yarns um, they are the breaking elongations evenness lee strength single yarn strength voluminosity twist abrasion knot strength strip strength tearing strength flexural rigidity crease recovery breakage rate and so on so th uh, these are the some of the uh, important characteristics of sirians here in this image we see uh, there is differentiated uh, sirians with single yarns and there are some parameters evenness thick places thin places hairiness uh, elongation tenacity and so on <coughs> there is some data we can see here which is uh, which depicted the uh, which depicted the properties of sirians with single yarns next and the last uh, last slide we have uh, there is a end uses of sirians due to its wonderful characteristics and uh, we use this type of yarns in fine short fabrics light garden fabrics work clothes knitted items and denim sectors this yarn is smoother and more uniform than traditional spun yarns hence it is ideal for use in high end apparels and home furnishings additionally siro spun yarns also offers excellent moisture management and breathability so <coughs> siro yarns since siro yarns has uh, important characteristics uh, uh, such as high yarn strength and uh, yarn grip grip structures grip and shiny structures uh, shiny appear appearing so this can be this can be used in several factors and this is elaborated here in this slide to conclude i would now repeat the main points from my sessions first we have uh, we have seen that a brief outline of sirians which was all about the characteristics and uh, introductions of sirians then we have learned about the uh, manufacturing process or spinning process of sirians how spinners spinners produced sirians uh, step by step then we have learned about uh, at limitations and advantages of sirians then some wonderful characteristics uh, then we have learned about some wonderful and important characteristics which differentiate sirians uh, to the conventional yarn then lastly we have seen about the end uses of sirian any anyway i don't like to prolong my sessions that's all for the moment thank you very much have a nice day